Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Tales from the TARDIS podcast. I'm your host Scott Summers and today I'm recording an episode I originally planned to save for the end of this current series of Doctor Who but since seeing various tweets yesterday I've decided to record this episode today. Yesterday was the 6th anniversary of the death of Elizabeth Sladen known for playing Sarah Jane Smith in Doctor Who and the Sarah Jane Adventures. Now, the reason why I've decided to record this episode today is just to give you a bit of backstory around me and Doctor Who, which is linked very heavily with Elizabeth Slayton. Now, before we begin, a little fact that you might not know. Uh, Elizabeth Clara Heath Slayton her full name, um, actually inspired the naming of Jenna Coleman's character, Clara, in Doctor Who, uh, Stephen Moffat revealed. Now, to start off with, I'm going to take you back to 2005, when the series, when Doctor Who restarted with Christopher Eccleston. At this point, I didn't know much about the show, really. And next few years went on. I th- may have given it a try with a couple of episodes. I can't remember that that much. Um, but then it all changed when CBBC advertised this new show, The Sarah Jane Adventures, with a New Year's Day special in 2007, Invasion of the Bane. While admittedly it's not the best episode of the Sarah Jane Adventures, that episode got me hooked and on to watch the series when it started off fully in September of 2007. Watched it the first couple of series and then in series three we got the introduction of the Doctor as portrayed by David Tennant in the Sarah Jane Adventures, in the episode The Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith, which happened at the end of October in 2009. Now, by this point, I knew that the Sarah Jane Adventures had spun off from Doctor Who, but nothing had really inspired me to give Doctor Who a try until I saw David Tennant in the Sarah Jane Adventures. At this point, I'd heard all of the news coverage that he was leaving the show, And I found myself on New Year's Day 2010 watching the last moments of David Tennant as the Doctor in The End of Time Part 2. All I remember was the Tenth Doctor staring across at what I now know to be Wilf, played by Bernard Cribbins, in the chamber which he then, the Doctor then enters and the radiation as a result causing his regeneration I saw him say goodbye to these characters that I didn't know obviously there's his goodbye to Sarah Jane in there as he saves (coughs) Luke from crossing the road and then he regenerates and a sight that I'd never seen before it was this awe-inspiring beauty of a regeneration and then this little guy Matt Smith is standing there and you see him start with his his opening his speech at the end of that episode written by Stephen Moffat and I just got hooked from there I I went, I will give this show a go when it comes back and it came back in the spring of 2010. I remember sitting down to watch the 11th hour and I was hooked. I was hooked in, I remember watching that whole series and just going, whoa, that was absolutely amazing as time passed I remember catching up on 
the new series starting from Christopher Eccleston's time and now I've gone back to watch parts of the classic series and I'm still very slowly at the moment making my way back through that time and I will talk more about the classic series uh, after this current series of Doctor Who finishes when I do some episodes about it. But going back to what this episode was initially about, all this time to do the next couple of years, when Matt Smith started, I was still watching the Sarah Jane adventures I saw uh, when Matt Smith made his uh, made an appearance in the Sarah Jane adventures in series four, and then obviously it, we, we then learned in the spring of 2011. 19th of April 2011, Elizabeth Sladen had died from cancer. And this hit me quite hard, really. It was the first sort of television personality that I'd looked up to that had died. It was different from family. I hadn't experienced many family situations like this at the time and and it really hit me this was one of the first shows that I'd become connected with and really followed and then obviously The Impossible Astronaut the first episode of series 6 of Doctor Who had a message at the beginning of it dedicating the episode to Elizabeth Sladen and then a few months later we got our final three episodes, or final six rather, um, of the Sarah Jane Adventures. With We got our introduction to Sky, very brief of course. Um, I will be also be doing some more episodes surrounding the Sarah Jane Adventures in the off-season of Doctor Who um, but this I felt I needed to put this episode out now because I felt really compelled to this this show is the reason that I'm sitting here today doing a podcast about Doctor Who this show is the reason that I have Doctor Who merchandise that I and making my way through episodes of Doctor Who from the 60s and the 70s. And that is down to this show, and specifically down to Elizabeth Sladen. This woman portraying Sarah Jane Smith is the reason that I have what some would call an obsession with uh, Doctor Who. I suppose you'd have to agree with them if I'm sitting here doing a podcast about it <laughs> um, so yeah I I wanted to put this episode out today because I felt after reading those tweets yesterday it was it was the right time to uh, obviously as I've said I will talk more about Sarah Jane Adventures and my history with Doctor Who when uh, when Doctor Who is not currently airing um, and of course I will be back next week with review and commentary of series 10 episode 2 as we check back in with the 12th Doctor, Bill and Nardo um, but until then thank you for listening I've been Scott Summers. This has been Tales from the TARDIS podcast. You can find more episodes on YouTube. Please leave a like, comment or subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. You can contact me on Twitter at Tales underscore TARDIS or via email at Tales from the TARDIS podcast at gmail.com and I'm going to leave you with the with a quote from the Sarah Jane Adventures said by Sarah Jane at the end of The Last Sontaran. 
I've learned a long time ago that if you're missing someone, just look up at the night sky. Whoever it is, wherever they are, chances are they're looking at the stars just like you. Sometimes, for all its size, the universe isn't such a big place after all. Thank you.